It's given me a way to reach out to youth. So I can do this through break, teaching breakdancing and I've always wanted to do this because growing up I didn't really have a positive role model. Uh, through dancing, I've definitely become a more independent and confident person. So that's what dancing in Unity has done for me. Then I heard about from a friend about Unity and um, I've been through a lot and I've got so many leadership opportunities and I feel like I've improved as a dancer and as well as a person through Unity. I know it's really cliche, but I feel like it's a family. They really appreciate each other, respect each other, uh, help each other grow in a positive environment. And it's about having fun while working really hard. Unity started back as a high school class project in grade 11. It was in my entrepreneurship class and our teacher asked us to create a venture and all the proceeds get donated to a charity. So we ran this event called Hip Hop Away From Violence at the time and it was kind of not the best the first year but the second year I became president of student council and I took over all the funds and made it happen <laughs> and I made it our project to make that the big big event of the year and it was huge. and. People told their personal stories. Unity is a lot about telling our personal stories. We performed and we really just moved the people in the crowd that day. And, you know, at that moment, I knew there was bigger power in what we were doing. And I just wanted to do more of that. So I went to university at York and we founded a student club called uh, Unity. At that time, then we changed the name to Unity. And Unity at York still exists till today. And then by the time we were finishing university, we said, you know what, we want to do this we want to keep doing this. We want to do this for our full-time jobs and we want to allow other people, other artists in the community who are amazing artists to be able to give back to their community. So we started Unity as a nonprofit and registered a charity in 2008. And ever since then, we never really looked back. I mean, we've grown to a volunteer organization to now having 10 staff running over 12 after-school programs that are 18 weeks long. There's a lot of really cool stuff and it all started just out of an idea in high school, which is pretty cool. As I got involved with Unity, I started performing and doing a lot of shows and just speaking in general about my past and my story, about how I used to be such a shy girl and blossomed into a leader in a sense. At the time, we thought we wanted to do something positive, so we decided Unity would be the perfect name because it just encompasses positivity and it's that idea of people coming together and with Unity, it's like a crew, right? You have that support network, you have that family that takes care of you. And like when you need someone to talk to, not every young person has someone they can talk to and trust. So with Unity, it's about having that group of people that you trust and you can connect with. Even to just be around people that are positive and doing something that they love while you're doing something you love, it's like, it's a no-brainer, right? That's, that's support right there. What motivated me to start Unity is my own personal story. I am a b-boy, I've been dancing since I was 12 and I just used breaking to just get rid of some of the anger I had as a teenager and just push it out of my body so I could just focus in life, in school, in relationships and you know I was traveling all over the world dancing and competing and it was a really great opportunity for me as a young person but it was also an outlet that I used to get rid of that anger and I wanted to share that with other young people. I hung out with my crew and realized that you know how powerful the arts can be to not only express yourself but surround yourself with people who support you. It got us through some of the sort of deepest and darkest times and now we're all doing this full time and not only that, we're teaching other young people to empower the next generation. So it's a pretty powerful tool and sometimes people don't realize oh, what hip hop can change someone's life but it can. Unity changed my life because they gave me an outlet for me to express myself artistically. I was a disgruntled youth growing up, part of a lot of gang violence, and instead of going on the street and expressing myself that way, I expressed myself artistically. Unity has really changed my life and saved my life. To me, Unity is its a community of um, very like-minded people who are very, all very passionate about their art. We didn't really plan anything. To be honest, things just happen naturally. It was very organic and, in a sense, grassroots, as people might say. And, you know, we saw one need and we went after it. And 
all of a sudden we were doing the next thing and then you know several years later we saw how all these different parts of what we created connected and it was just very natural it wasn't like we said okay this is exactly what we're going to be in five years from now but now we're starting to say that we've got this all together this is what we want to be in five years from now but no we didn't have much of a plan when we started we were just doing it and it felt right and sometimes you just act on that feeling uh, unity means to me what a lot of people mean expressing yourself um, showing what you want love to do, expressing to everyone, meeting new people, learning a new community and hidden inside of all of Toronto. To me, Unity just meant legacy because what Unity has really done is they've started a system and they've started an organization that's going to affect history of Toronto and it's going to leave a lasting impact. Yo, if you're having a really good time, put your hands in the sky like one time. We be representing everywhere we go and this is what it is. I love you, T. Unity Festival came about actually just like everything else. We just decided, you know, at the end of the year, we wanted to bring all the schools and communities we were working with together to do a show. So we had this sort of recital thing in a theater five years ago. It was like maybe two, three hundred people, about 20 youth who performed from all of our different programs, and they all performed, and their parents, their community came and, and saw them perform. And we said, you know what, why don't we try to make it a public event why don't we make it something big so we took a chance and we rented out Dundas Square which was a pretty big step we just did it we didn't really think very much we got a grant from the Toronto Arts Council which allowed us to do that and we just went for it so we tried it unfortunately the first year it actually rained pretty hard so it ended up being still a success but it was challenging with the rain but after that we got some other funding from you know the federal government to be able to get some major headliners so it all kind of snowballed right once you got Talib Kweli on stage or Bismarck Key or Maestro or Cardinal Official you kind of like elevates the stage so that when the young people are performing you know they're performing with their hip-hop heroes and all of a sudden it's a bigger thing than it was when it was that little theater show because you know there's a lot of pride when you perform your art and your work, but there's even more pride when you realize that you're on an international stage, you know, the biggest stage in one of the biggest stages in Canada where, you know, you could have 8,000 people watching you at one time. They look at this as sort of that pivotal turning point of taking their career to the next level. And it's not only about being a career hip hop artist, like it's also about just raising that confidence and standing on that stage, looking in, into the crowd of people and feeling like, wow, you know, like, I made it and I can do whatever I want in the world, even if it's not hip hop. So, you know, for a lot of people who don't know about Unity, this is like, what is this thing? And then all of a sudden they start hearing about all these year round 18 week programs or 40 week programs that we're doing directly in the community. And it's like, oh, it's not just a festival. It's like a deeper impact program. That's, that's, that's to me the power of the Unity Festival. And I figured out that, no, I really actually love dancing. And through Unity, I've been given a lot of opportunities. I've met tons of amazing and talented people. There's no community without the word Unity. And essentially, that's what it is. That's what it means to me. That's what Unity does for Toronto, for Canada as a whole, and hopefully as a global movement in the near future. Our future plan, our strategic plan, as people have told us we should call it, is to you know, become the, one of the leading youth organizations in the country. On top of that, you know, going to different cities, so right now we're in Calgary and Halifax, deepening the work we do there while also planning to go out to Vancouver. Um, we want to launch a national model that could also work in different cities that we're not physically present in, just to sort of expand the model of what we've created and document what we're doing further so that we can actually train people in different cities and countries around the work that we're doing because it's innovative, not only on a local scale or national scale, but on an international scale. So there's a lot of opportunity to take this outside of Toronto. The best way to get anything outside of the city is hip hop is an international community already. It's like it's there. We're not recreating hip hop. So you go to Saskatchewan or Manitoba or even the Arctic and there's already people who are doing hip hop in these places. So it's really just finding the right ambassadors and providing them with a model that we've created. Not only us personally, but you know, our team in Halifax has tested it and they've changed it up to make it local and the team in Calgary has changed it up to make it local. So it's really taking this sort of idea and this sort of written model and adapting it to their local communities. So 
you know, you can go to Uganda and there's hip hop. You know, we've been invited every year to a conference out in Italy for the last four years where we meet uh, hip hop outreach groups from all over the world. So we've met groups from Cambodia, Colombia, um, Uganda, Afghanistan, Italy, and they all come together and we represent Canada at this conference. They all come together to just learn from each other and share their art and share their projects that they're doing back at home. So we have this international network right now. So if we decide to go internationally, there's a sort of support network of people who are interested in the idea or just doing it already themselves. So there's possibility of a future international expansion. We have to work together and express our stress by helping others through different art forms. You changed my life in many different ways, but I think like the most substantial one would easily be, you know, taking me away from making bad decisions, especially growing up in a rougher neighborhood. Um, seeing the parallel and seeing other people making bad decisions and seeing where I could have ended up right now at the age of 18, you know. I know people who are went down the wrong path and ended up in the wrong places, but luckily enough, you know, I was blessed to stay away from all of that. So it's definitely changing my life. I think what makes Unity successful, if I were to use the word successful, or just, you know, I think what we do works because we just have the right people, you know? We have the best artists who are also some of the best youth workers and some of the best artists who become some of the best youth workers who weren't before. But, you know, I think working with top artists is very important who have that heart that they really want to give their art back to their community because they lived through that, right? Like. Every hip hop artist, every artist in general had to start somewhere. So for a lot of people in the hip hop community, you know, they dealt with their own personal journeys and challenges. And hip hop is often that thing that comes along and gives them a voice and gives them power. And all of a sudden they're famous in some ways in front of different groups of people. Whereas before they might have, you know, not really known where they were going to go in life. So hip hop is really a tool to help young people create something out of nothing, people say, and I think that's really the core of it, right? You don't have to have anything to do hip-hop. You just need your body and, you know, at most a pen and a piece of paper. It's like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, cool. Hi, my name is Michael Prosserman, aka B-Boy Pieces. I'm the founder and executive director of Unity Charity. Hey! <laughs>